be Naomi. This is the Eloise kit by Meja Saeed. Mine is the only silicone version and she was made by Christy Carvathan. I'm just gonna say that because I know a lot of people always ask me about Naomi, so that's her basic information. So, um, today I'm just gonna change Naomi and just talk to you guys. So, she's looking really cute today in this fun little pink outfit. It was really warm a couple days ago. Today it's actually cold. We just had a nor'easter, so there was a little bit of snow this morning, but it's not cold enough for it to have stuck, so there's no snow on the ground or anything, but it did snow when I was, like, when I woke up it was snowing. <laughs> so, we are just gonna change her. I'll show you what we're gonna change her into. Um, well, this outfit is from Janie and Jack, and the shoes are from Carter's, and then we're gonna put her into this outfit. Um, this onesie with a little swan, and these matching pants are from Janie and Jack. Super cute. And then, um, this gray sweater is from Baby Gap. And then we have just some socks, a hair bow, and a Ryan and Rose pacifier. So that's what we're gonna change her into. So yeah, anyway, I know it's been a little bit since I made a video last. I haven't really uh, felt like filming recently and I, I want to post and I feel bad for not posting uh, because I know like People enjoy seeing my videos, especially when we're all stuck at home and have not much to do. It's nice to have something to watch. Uh, so I'm sorry I haven't really put anything out there. Um, I just haven't really felt like filming anything, I guess. But I want to put out content. I just haven't really sure, haven't really been sure what I wanted to make for you guys. So we're just doing a video of Naomi talking. Here we go. So. Um, I was thinking about maybe doing a live video soon, um, or like multiple, like just to hang out with you guys and be able to interact with everyone in an easier way. So I'm not sure if I'd go live on Instagram, YouTube, both, like I don't know what I would do, but um, I'm thinking about doing something like that because I think that'd be really fun to interact with you guys easier. Here, I'm gonna, where's her head? I have to be extra careful with her head. There we go. I like that this outfit opens all the way up like a vest, but it just buttons in the back. But it's so much easier to put it on and off of her that way. Just sometimes these buttons are a little tricky. Oh, and also, I'm sure you've noticed my nails are different from the last video. Um, my other press-on nails were falling off and I put on new ones because obviously I can't get my nails done, so I've been doing press-on nails, so my nails can still grow, but this will be stronger than my actual nails. So these are just press-on nails. I really like them. Um, we get them from Target. Like, they're cheap press-on nails. They actually stay on really well, so yeah. Just wanted to say that. I'm not going to nail salons. All our nail salons are closed, sadly. Um, yeah, so here's Naomi. Oh my goodness. I love this baby. Look at her. She's so big. Oh, here we go. She has cat hair on her from just my cats. Oh my goodness, it's not coming off. It is sticking to her. I think she probably needs to be powdered soon. She's not like super sticky, but like obviously the cat hair is staying on her. Okay, so like I was saying, I think it'll be fun to do like an Instagram live. And my big issue with doing Instagram live though is that um, I do them down here in my basement but the Wi-Fi down here is so bad, like the connection for some reason is so bad, especially near the crib, which is like where all the babies are. So it's hard for me to do a live video down here because the connection gets really bad and then you guys can't see or hear me sometimes. And um, but, so then if I do it somewhere else, everyone will ask to see the babies and I won't be near them if the connection is so bad. So I don't know, that's my biggest issue with doing that, I guess. But I will think about it, and if I do have one, you guys will see it. If I do it here, it should show up like an actual video, and you guys will be able to watch it. And if I just do it on Instagram, then if you follow me, you'll get a notification for that. You can follow me at Kelly Maple YT, and that's where I'll do it. Here we go. I'm not sure if I'd do it on YouTube or Instagram. Instagram is definitely easier, but I feel like a lot more people would watch on YouTube. I don't know. We'll have to see. And like I said, I'm not sure when I would do it. Maybe tonight, maybe not, who knows. <laughs> I 
Um, and I'm, I'll probably do it on more than one occasion because I think it is fun. I haven't done a live video in a really long time. So I know that's something you guys are interested in. Here we go. Um, I don't really know what else I was going to say. That's also why I didn't really want to film a changing video because I feel like these are only interesting if I have something to talk about. And I haven't had much to say. Here we go. I'm going to flip her over because I need to button up the back. Um, oh, so I'm sure a lot of you guys are doing online school. As you guys know, I am a senior in high school, so our graduation right now, we aren't sure what's happening with it, but I have two weeks of school left, so I'm glad that I'm getting out earlier than the other students like I was supposed to have been doing at real school. So I got out like a little more than a month earlier than the like other grades at our school. So that's really nice. So I have two weeks left and Joseph has like a month and two weeks left. Here we go. And my sister actually just finished her um, college classes today, so she's done. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Her hair is so cute. She's never worn this outfit. Um, I think I got it with her in mind and then Poppy has been the only one who's worn it, which is interesting. I was having a hard time deciding if I wanted to put her in this or a different outfit I have. Oh wait. Um, I wanted to put the socks on under her pants. Uh, the other outfit I have, she has worn before, but it looks really good on her. She looks so good in purples. Like, I feel like purples just complement her really well. So the other outfit was like a purpley outfit, and I really like that. But I thought we'd put her in this one since she's never worn it. So, she's such a fun baby. Ah. Obviously I have to be more delicate with her because she is silicone. And also, she's very heavy. She weighs like 12 pounds. Like, she's a lot to handle. Like, <laughs> you can't hold her for very long because she gets so heavy. It like hurts your arms, so. I like to hang out with her, but it's not always the most fun holding her because she's so heavy. So it's fun to just like dress her and then like hang out with her. Here we go. These pants are so cute. I love this outfit. Oh my goodness, they're having a hard time getting over her big butt. <laughs> it's like bunching up at her knees. There we go. Oh, and they have little bows on the ankle. It's really cute. I'm sorry, I'm not really saying much. I don't know what else I would talk about. Um, yeah, that's why I also didn't really want to film this because I don't know what I'm would talk about and clearly you guys are seeing I'm struggling with that for her um, sweater I'm gonna put these mittens on her hands just to get her arms through I meant to do that when I put her shirt on but I forgot about it and I had no problems but with the sweater I'm just gonna put these mittens on to get her hands through easier and then I will take them off um, I feel like that's the easiest to do with silicones like getting their like fingers and toes through long sleeve shirts and like pants because then they don't separate if they're all in like a mitten because on this hand all of Naomi's fingers are separate this one's a fist and then her toes most of them are separated so it's easiest to have like socks and mittens I talk about this like every time I dress her but it's such a nice life hack um, for people who have silicones so highly recommend and then you can just like pull it off boom <laughs> so cute Aw, her hair is gonna get a little messed up. <laughs> I don't usually put like hair bands, like headbands on her because they mess up her hair a lot. Like I'll put it on and it'll make her hair poofy. Like it'll, I don't know how to describe it, but I don't really like hair bows or headbands, but I have been putting like clips in her hair. I like how those are better. They fall out sometimes, but for the most part, I think they're pretty cute. I like, I think I like doing like clip-ons better than a headband on her trying to figure out like how her hair is supposed to be parted. There we go, that looks pretty good. I will just take a little bit of her hair, clip it in. That is not secure. <laughs> that was not enough hair. Let's see, there we go. Nope, that was bad. See, it's hard, her hair is like pretty thin, I would say. Let's try it on this side, I never put it on this side. That's cute. There, and then the last thing is the pacifier. It's just for an accessory. 
A lot of people have asked me if her mouth opens. It does not. Uh, like I said, this kit was originally um, sculpted for vinyl. This You can get this kit as a vinyl kit. It doesn't have a full body. It's just arms, legs, head. But I have um, a silicone version. But since she was just sculpted as a vinyl kit, initially she doesn't have an open mouth because uh, she wasn't sculpted to have one. So her mouth is closed, but she has a magnet. Uh, but I don't usually put pacifiers on her anyway. She looks so peaceful, but she does look cute. Like this one does not have a magnet in it right now, but um, like that would look cute on her. But yeah, this pacifier matches pretty well. And a lot of you guys ask me about these. Um, I get Ryan and Rose pacifiers. I love these. I have a bunch of other pacifiers as well, but these are my favorite. I mostly just use them for an accessory because they look really cute with the outfits. I have a bunch of colors that match. But um, Eleanor can take them full, like they fit in her mouth because she has an open mouth. Um, I'm sure like a twin A would take this really well. And then, like I've shown before, if you take two little magnets, these are the special um, earth magnets. You can't just use like regular magnets, but these are the special earth magnets. You can put one on the inside, like this and then match it up to the side of your baby's mouth. And then if you just push the middle down to make it flat, and push it in as much as you can, like that. So it's like in there. The back might look a little bit odd, but then it'll just magnetize to her mouth and she can just use it. So that's my little way of using these. And then you don't have to actually like permanently magnetize them or modify them because you can do like that and then you can just take them out and use it as a full pacifier for a prop. So I like doing that. And this works on like any um, silicone pacifiers that have a round like nipple like this. So like the Avent Suli's and um, there's like Itsy Ritzy I think. And then these ones. Those are the only ones I know of but it works on anything like that. So here we go. I don't know why I have this little mouse here. I let her hang out with it. It's so cute. A little mouse in a ballerina outfit. <laughs> This does not match her outfit though. She looks so cute and cozy. I'm probably gonna cuddle her and hang out. She's so big, you guys. <laughs> I love this baby. She's a good size, I love her size. So, sorry this video is kind of random and like all over the place, but hope you guys enjoyed seeing Naomi. I always love hanging out with her. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm not sure if I'll go live there or here, but you don't want to miss that, so. Make sure to follow my Instagram at KellyMapleYT and at Little Mouse Nursery. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. And we'll see you guys later. Bye! <laughs>